Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as a member of the Society of Jesus, more popularly known as the Jesuits, I'm fortunate to have all sorts of brothers who are saints. Some are still living and are great examples for me to follow. Others have died, and I hold their memories dear because they were my mentors and teachers. And others I've never met, but I hope to meet one day in heaven. These are all the beatified and canonized Jesuits of history. One of them is being celebrated in my community today, and he's especially dear to me. His name is St. Joseph Pignatelli, and he lived at a dark time in Jesuit history, the mid-18th century, when, under pressure from various secular and religious leaders, the Jesuits were suppressed. You can just imagine how much this felt like the rug being pulled out from under him, his vocation to be a Jesuit literally taken away from him. His family and friends encouraged him to join another order or become a diocesan priest, but he remained faithful and tried to keep together the dispersed Jesuits, hoping that one day they would be reinstituted, as they were 30 years later. Clearly, a man like this needed great trust in God, and you can see that in the following prayer of his entitled, Perfect Resignation. My God, I do not know what must come to me today, but I am certain that nothing can happen to me which you have not foreseen, decreed, and ordained from all eternity. That is sufficient for me. I adore your impenetrable and eternal designs, to which I submit with all my heart. I desire, I accept them all, and I unite my sacrifice to that of Jesus Christ, my divine Savior. I ask in his name and through his infinite merits, patience in my trials, and perfect and entire submission to all that comes to me by your good pleasure. Amen.